हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर अनुपम हियर एंड टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट द रोल ऑफ एच एफ एन सी एंड एन आई वी इन एर डीज पेशेंट्स सो द लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द वर्ल्ड इन डेफिनेशंस टाइप्स ऑफ एर डी एस पैथोफिजियोलॉजी नाउ वंस यू डायग्नोस्ड एर डी एस वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप सो ए आर डी एस पेशेंट एकॉर्डिंग टू वर्ल्ड इन डेफिनेशन You classified them into three types. The number one is mild ARDS. Number two is moderate. And number three is severe. how it is classified it is mild moderate and severe based on the pf ratio so in the mild case the pf ratio will be between 200 to 300 in the moderate the pf ratio is 100 to 200 and in the severe case the pf ratio is less than 100 so once we have classified them under these subgroups what to do next whether to put them on hfnc or niv or directly intubate them what to do let us discuss so in patient who are having mild ards the next question you have to ask is check four things you have to check right the number one is whether the patient is having any background of copd or obstructive airway disease or not second question you have to ask is whether there is any acute pulmonary edema present or not third pso2 more than 45 or not or fourth hfnc or high flow nasal cannula available or not answer to any of this question is yes anyone then the patient will be put on an iv non invasive ventilation and that can be given by two method one is icu ventilator which is preferred or you can use a bipap machine right however if answer to all the question is no not to all question that we asked here this four question answer to all the question is no in that situation patient will be definitely be getting an hfnc of course we are discussing about this thing because we have given them oxygen via nasal cannula then via face mask maybe via non rebreather after that if they are failing what we are supposed to do so hfnc right now once these patients are on hfnc or niv how to assess them so for patient on niv assessment will be done using what a college hacker score you will find it in any online medical calculator so if the hacker score is more than equal to 5 so these are the patient if they left alone on an iv at 48 hour 80% of them will be intubated what does it mean that means if hacker score is more than 5 it suggests an iv failure so these patients should be given higher respiratory support and this hacker scoring should be done at 1 hour of an iv what is hacker score hacker score is this one is heart rate acidosis so to do a avg this is coma gcs scoring 
oxygenation is the PF ratio, this is the respiratory rate. Right. So each has been given a score. So the total score is 25. A score more than equal to 5 at 1 hour predicts a naive failure and these patients should be intubated early. So intubate them early. Right. Now what to do when patients are on HFNs? Right. How to assess? So in this case the assessment will be done by using rocks index the formula for which is spo2 by fio2 or sf ratio divided by respiratory rate right and it has to be measured at 2 hour 6 hour and 2 hour 12 hour if at 2 hour the rocks index is less than 2.85 at 6 hour less than 3.47 at 12 hour less than 3.85 they predict HFNC failure at any point at any point if rocks is less than 4.88 that is suggestive of HFNC failure right so if at this point 2 hour 6 hour 12 hour or at any point it is less than 4.88 so eight, this is called HFNC failure so in your mind you should think this patient may benefit from intubation early intubation right so once there is HFNC failure and there is an IV failure what to do so those patients who had HFNC failure they can be put to an IV can be or both HFNC failure and an IV failure they should be intubated which is better Patient who has failed HFNC can be put on NIV or patient who has failed HFNC can be intubated. Of course, when the patient fails NIV, there is no other options than to be intubated. So now let us see what is the ideal thing to do. So in moderate and severe ARDS, it is recommended that they should be intubated early. Right. However, they can also be put on NIV, which you do in most of the cases. What will happen when you put moderate to severe ARDS or patient who have failed HFNC? Failed HFNC. Those who have failed HFNC and those who are having moderate to severe ARDS, if you put them on an IV, what will happen? It has been found in studies that it actually increases mortality for two reasons. Because on an IV, we cannot give a low tidal volume. So lung protective ventilation, which is the only and absolute method to decrease mortality in a patient is failed right so this cannot be done so when this cannot be done there is increase in mortality second thing is if you put a HFNC failed patient or a moderate to severe patient on NIV it delays intubation so when 
so when it delays intubation that means it delays long protective ventilation again it increases mortality so this is the reason why these patients should not be put on NIV they should be directly intubated right even the lung safe study a multi-center randomized control trial they have suggested if PF ratio is less than 150 and you put them on NIV mortality is very high so so instead of putting them on NIV patient who are having moderate to severe ARDS they should be intubated early so what is the conclusion of our discussion patient who is having ARDS if it is mild and patient do not have a history of COPD or there is no pulmonary edema and the PSCO2 is less than 45 they should be put on HFNC right however if any of these is present they will benefit from NIV now when the patient is on HFNC you assess the patient at 2 hour 6 hour 12 hour and measure the ROX index at any point of time if if you think the ROX index is actually suggesting HFNC failure we should directly intubate the patient do not go to NIV if you go to NIV mortality is increased or patients who are on NIV you have to use the hacker score if it is more than equal to 5 at 1 hour that means it is NIV failure so those are the patients they should be directly intubated early also patient with moderate to severe ARDS they should be intubated early if you put them on NIV the lung safe study suggests that the mortality is very high you can give a trial to moderate ARDS patient on NIV and assess at 1 hour but earlier they are intubated the better the results right so once the patient is intubated what to do next this is what we'll discuss in our next class thank you very much